Okay, so this video is about how to replace and adapt either the plastic um, adapters for these Casio G-Shocks or the stainless steel black ones. So first thing you want to do is you want to get your um, spring bar tool and you want to jam it into that crevice. So I'm just going to let it focus and remove this spring bar and they should have a spring clip just in there and you want to do that side and you want to do to both sides and then you end up with your watch without its braces so you got the top and then you got the bottom and the first time I did this I the trick was I and I removed this using a screwdriver to take the backing off this um, because this is quite sometimes this, this is quite first time I've ever done it this is quite mm, hard and rigid so to get any sort of movement um, especially when you're working with the stainless steel adapters there's not much give and then so I, I, I found it useful to back these up a bit or even take this out and then um, that gave me a bit more flexibility in terms of its casing to adapt it so um, I'll give you an example so I'm going to do it on this one so I think this is pretty much like this plastic is is much more softer than when I originally did it so should be easier so um, this is the stainless steel ones sorry um, and these are the plastic ones um, we sell both of them so the, it's just a matter of weight but in terms of the design, they're one slightly heavier, and, and um, but they should be identical. In once this one, this is one's plastic, one stainless steel. So what you want to do is you want to grab one, and then you want to put it in, and you notice there's a notch on this line here. The one that has a hole. This one for the spring, so that has to go inside this way, and you'll see it'll sit kind of flush. With that plastic so what you do is you want to get that and then you want to get your little 16 mil adapter and you want to just jam it in there you want to kind of find the first notch first and then you get your spring bar tool and you want to kind of push this guy in there and there's it's a lot of wiggle it's a lot of wiggling around Okay, so it's not, it's like, it's not exactly in there. It's like still just out a bit. There you go. And you want to wiggle it and then you hear this click. And then there, that's it. Oh, oh it comes out. So, yeah, it takes a while for it to sit properly. You just want to keep doing that a few times and then um, you'll find it will eventually click and sit into the hole. Like I said, because of the adapter, this little plastic bit here this little notch kind of sometimes interferes with the backing to make it sit nice and flush so you could like you know um remove this to give you a bit more space and then put it back after you fit it or like my watch it's been you got to push it you got to push this part a little bit more to give so it will actually uh, allow you to adapt it easier it's just once you've done it and you don't want to remove it it'll be fine it'll hold up really well but the first time you ever done it it's going to be tight because this plastic has never been stretched so that's what that's what that's why it's so hard to do it the first time i did it i had to remove the backing but like my watch is like i've, I've used adapters on it all the time now and going back it's easy to put it back in the oem adapters mm. so I want to do is I want to try to find and then it's kind of not catching but catching like you'll see it's like it's seated it feels like it's seated but it's not so you want to do is you want to keep holding it and pushing it and you want to push it see how that plastic's kind of like so you see how that's like slightly bent bent there you go it's clicked again but I'm not sure No. 
Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly, but you can do it. So I'm just gonna, I can't see much light while filming and doing it at the same time, I'll try. Sometimes if you can't get one side to, to, to click, the one that, the side that's hard, because I'm struggling with this right side, sometimes it's easier to do the right side first and then do the opposite side, if that makes sense. So you would put in, you would try to make the adapt to one side first and then work out the other side. Because the holes on the, the G-Shocks aren't like, you know, engineered machine holes that are perfectly the same hole. They're like, they're, they're cut out of this hard plastic, UV plastic. This, the case itself is a hard resin. So the hole they have in it, it's like, it's like, it's there, but it's not, it's not like a machine, well machine hole, if that makes sense. It's not a super clean hole where it's like either in or out. So you just have to, like fiddle around with it and then eventually that clip will clip into it so it will, it will adapt so so now i've just wiggled around a bit and then i'll wait, wait till it clicks so i'm i'm having really good success with this side but not this side so Okay, it's good now. I'm just gonna test it. No, because sometimes it 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 goes deep into sorry, it goes deep into this side, but it doesn't actually go as deep into that side. If that makes sense, so it kind of just on the tip on that side, but not on the side. So you want to like move it around a bit. So you want to push it. There you go. Yeah, so that. Oh. Nope, it came off. So, what I want to do is, I want to fit it to this side now. So, that's the side that's loose. It's like not coming in. So, I'm just going to try to adapt that side first. Find the hole in it, and then push it from this side. Voila! Oh no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the backing, give me more leverage, and then I'll slowly put it back. Just be wary when you do it. Just uh, there's a rubber seal that goes around the back of this that you want to, don't want to break or lose because that uh, stops the water from getting into the back of your G-Shocks. Just going to take that out from now. There you go. And there's the, the rubber I was talking about.
Okay. Oh, I know what's happened. So this spring bar, the retention pop the hasn't come back out. So if you let if you get one of those that are like not not coming out, let me know and I'll send you um a, a replacement set. But that's probably why. So we find one that both has both ends uh protruding correctly. That's probably the reason why. But if I put it back in, um, and I'm just gonna. Uh, just probably put this back in. Okay, beauty. So that's nice and hard, and like that's not gonna come off now. So I wiggle it, and if I slowly put this the rubber band back in here, yep, where's the band? Make sure it's properly seated. There you go. Probably seat him without trying to rip him off. Okay. I should be able to put this on without it interfering. So I'll just there you go. So it's very tight, but it goes underneath that, and then I'll be able to screw this in here. Let's find the hole for it. Sorry, I haven't lined it up Sorry. yet. There you go. And there you go. All right. So yeah, so that has a little bit of movement, but not much. And then you just reverse it on this side, um, and then screw it in, and um, put your adapters on. Yeah, all right. This video may be a bit long, but if you're gonna get, yeah, sorry, if you've got any other questions, just uh, hit me up and I'll um, let you know. Bye.